Well, hello. How is it going, everybody? My name is Alex Dalliance, and welcome to Scum Night. Uh, so, as you may have noticed, this studio looks a little different. We've got all of the synthesizers finally on display and ready to be played. So I'm very excited. It's like the fourth time I've rebuilt this studio. And yes, the synth dungeon feels very good <laughs> to be uh, finally here. Um, yeah, it's it's fucking nice, Jackie. <laughs> Um, so tonight we will be playing the new Tillis Art game, The Caregiver. Tillis Art is just one of the most incredible game developers right now. I really like their stuff and it kind of follows in line with Puppet Combo, but it's got a uniquely Japanese version to it. So it's going to be real, a lot of fun. I'm really excited about it. And yeah, so, uh, how is everybody doing? Um... Hello, Nikki. Hello, Ryan. We cannot see the penis painting. It is behind over there. And um, I don't know where the penis painting may end up going. It may may end up being a, a moving to another part of my house or something like that. Because uh, I really do want to set this up to be able to do some more like live music type stuff in here uh, now that we're ready to go. So that's really exciting. So yeah, how's everybody doing? Hey, Nelly, how are you? Neil and Justin and Birdo, how's everybody doing tonight? The penis is hidden. Yes. Hello, Annie. How are you? For those of you guys who don't know, I have an HR Giger painting right over there. And on stream, it looks like a penis. <laughs> uh, in person, I always say it, you, you really see the painting. You don't see the penis, but um, but the white of the penis of the body, it's like the rib cage of the monster really looks like a penis under the stream lighting once you're looking through the camera. Ah, uh, it's awesome. Glad to be on the Sneakers TVs once again. Hello, everybody. Thank you very much, Birdo. I appreciate your continued support. Um, yeah. Uh, there is definitely a path right here, right off camera. But over here, it connects all the way over. Um, so you sort of have to then loop around the room that way. So it's kind of fun. Um... You know, currently that's the way it's set up. We will see if what if it works, but I quite like it this way. And I have to tell you, it is quite a powerful feeling to turn all these bad boys on and just be able to play like no, no, uh, no setup required. So it's, it's quite nice. I'm a big fan. <laughs> oh, Jackie. Well, you know, what, what am I going to say? I think it, it, it looks, um, I did not notice the penis, you know, um, but it's always funny when like a supposed straight boy comes in the stream and that's the first thing they notice is the dick on the wall. Um, I'm always like, ooh, it's a bit of a litmus test for uh, people's sexual orientation. So I wouldn't be surprised that, you know, uh, some of these, some of these supposedly straight boys. <laughs> oh, so yeah i'm really excited my air conditioning is not down i always forget to do that it gets super hot in this room because it's closed off from the rest of the house so let's uh crank this motherfucker down so yeah how's everybody doing hey tonight i am drinking this fabulous hotozaki uh whiskey given to me by my boy gaetano contini so thank you very much i believe this is the bottle you gave me also uh, Suzanne gave me the exact same bottle for my birthday, almost finished it. Um, and I thought we should be drinking Japanese whiskey or a Japanese horror game. So to everybody out there, I love you guys. Thank you for hanging out. What a nice pale yellow color. Yeah, definitely no additives in there. But yes, thank you guys so much for hanging out. If you're new to the stream, welcome to the scum family. My name is Alex from Vulture Culture, and it is such a pleasure to be with you on another Wednesday night at nine. So cheers, guys. Mmm. 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 Yeah, I'm getting fucked up tonight, Annie. Hey, how's it going, Orlando? Uh, cheers, everybody. Oh, that's definitely something I should talk about before we get going here. Um, so... We are going to be hysteria. Um, we are going to be playing this game tonight, but we'll most likely finish it. 
Um, and so at the end of the stream tonight, I'm going to be checking out what game to play next. So if you guys don't know, if you click on the link that's over there in the chat, uh, that leads to the Facebook group for Scum Night. And we're currently voting on what the next game is that I'll be playing next week. And right now, I believe Dead Space is in the lead with 15 votes to 14. Uh, for Silent Hill 3 is in second place. And uh, then I think, um, what was it? Resident Evil 7 is tr trailing in third. So it's up to you guys. That's a wonderful thing about this channel is you guys get to decide what game I play next, what I do next on this channel. And um, yeah, so it's winning by one. Hey, Tiffany, I know Tiffany voted for Dead Space. Tiffany has a Dead Space tattoo, if I'm correct. Is, is that correct, Tiffany? Um, so yeah, so we're going to be deciding what it is at the end of the stream. So if you have not voted yet, please hit the link on the little on the side over here. Uh, where is it? Over there. And go vote right now. That way you guys get to decide what I'm doing on this channel. It's always up to you. Um, yes, thank you, Jackie, for helping me sell out. If you are, if you haven't yet, like this video. It helps. Subscribe to the channel if you have not. We are like three subscribers away from 1,300. Um, so if you haven't subscribed yet, please do that. And actually, the thing that helps Scum Knight the most is for you to invite your friends. Um, I know a lot of people don't like sharing things on Facebook. I totally get that. If you can share it, that's really helpful. Also, if you can just shoot it in a message to someone who you think would like it, as opposed to just being like, I don't know, just blasting it out to your whole friends list. It's up to you guys, obviously, but that's actually the number one thing you can do to support the channel, because the more people that watch this, the less of a burden it is on any one person. Uh, and yeah, so of course there's tips and donations, all that's very helpful, but the best thing you can do is just share this on your social media. If you have it on your shin, that's awesome. I love that. Uh, more penis paintings into the stream. Yes, they do cost money. Uh, not a, yeah. So yeah, we're almost at 1300 as of tonight. I think we're like three off, something like that. We're at like 1297. Yes, we were, yeah, just very recently, we were at a thousand and it's going. Um, so that's really awesome. And I have you guys to thank for it. So thank you very much. Um, yeah, so I think we've killed enough time. So without further ado, why don't we jump into this beautiful game? Um, one thing worth saying up front here is that, um, when I was testing this game out earlier, there was a little bit of stuttering on the, the graphics when I was looking at it. So if it's bad, you guys let me know, okay? Also, this game's very loud, or the rain is pretty loud. Wow, that sound is loud. Yeah, so we're going to get going here. Let me jump on in to my spot. Okay, so here we go, you guys. The Caregiver by Chilla's Art. So immediately you'll notice that this game has this very retro look to it. But unlike the puppet combo games, you can see there's like a lot of detail in the environment, whereas the puppet combo stuff is much more whatever. So you guys let me know if the choppiness is too bad. I've noticed it's choppy. It's a little choppy, but if it's doable, then that's cool. Also, something I can do actually is disable my preview. So you guys can let me know. Um, well, yeah, there is this. Uh, let me go enable this preview here. I can go to the graphics and turn the texture quality down, but it's already on the, it, it defaults to this low setting. And honestly, I tried all of the different settings here and I didn't notice a difference between any of them. Um, like it didn't seem to make the choppiness any better or worse. So you guys let me know if it's like super annoying and we can see what we could do about it. Um, it might have to do with my bit rate or something. I don't know. I'm super not good at understanding that stuff. Actually, why don't we try and just see if lowering my bit rate, I think I can do that live. Um, let's just see if lowering the bit rate does anything. Cause I don't think I need a particularly high bit rate for a game like this. Um, I think if I go too low, YouTube will get mad. Let's see if this does anything. I think it's still just as choppy. Yeah, if I'm looking at my preview, I'm still a little choppy. So I don't think that did anything. John had it at 100 and it played better. 
Is that what you're saying? I would be happy to uh, do that. No, no worries there. Let's put the bit rate back up to my usual. I don't think that helped at all. I was looking into like solutions, but everything I tried didn't seem to make much of a difference. Hey, how's it going, Gaetano? Tonight I'm drinking your Hatazaki Japanese whiskey. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, I mean, I think even if I put this up to 100, it's not going to do too much. I think the choppiness is about the same. Actually, looks, yeah, it looks about the same. I don't see a difference. Anyways. Naomi's sleeping again. She's always like this recently. I guess being new really gets to you. Don't worry, Naomi. I was like that too when it started. So as long as you guys are okay with the graphics, I mean, it doesn't look that bad. It's definitely the frame rate sucks, but it's not, hopefully it's not brutal. And in a game like this, it's not the end of the world. But you guys let me know. Like, how's it look on your guys' end? Let me know. All right, so this is my bag. The game is running very smoothly, so I think it might be just a little bit of encoder issues or whatever. Yeah, if you use two computers, it's not a, a big deal. Um, yeah, and also I'd like to say that this game looks like there's a little bit of screen tearing and stuff anyways, just in the game that's... Yeah, well, the, yeah, the, the frame rate's already kind of a little wonky, so it's not, not so different. As long as the frame rate's not so bad that you guys are like, we quit the stream, right? Yeah. I could try lowering the frame rate of the actual stream. That might help. We could try that real quick. Sorry, I mean... Do, do, do video. I can't change any of that while we're, while we're going here. Okay, looks like we are, we are simply stuck with what we have. Um, well, I'm going to set it to the default. Or, well, that doesn't do anything, it doesn't seem. All right. Let's play this game. All right, so that door is locked. Hopefully Nikki's not nauseous as shit. I actually turned the mount sensitivity way down. So that we uh, had a little room to play with here. Okay. <laughs> yeah, exactly. RE3 at 12 SPS. Okay, so we're already in here. What else is there to do? Okay. Oh, this was where we started. Let's see if Naomi's changed at all. Oh, she's always like this. I was like that too when I started. You threw up on your cat. <laughs> I don't know what that means, Neil. All right, that's just this room. Door's still locked. Whoop. Can you guys hear that? Oof. <laughs> the classic Jackie. It's time. I better hurry. Hurry with what? Look at how creepy this is. Heading out? Yes. But to Suichi's? Oh? I just got a call from his daughter to come over. Said it was some sort of emergency. All right. It's already late. Just get everything you need now. And go home after you get the job done. I'll let the boss know. Thanks, Risako. Oh. And wake Naomi up before you leave. She's sleeping in the break room again. Again? She is a hard worker. Oh, and did you know? Know what? I found this while I was running a little background check of her. I heard she was thrown away. Interesting translation there. And left in a tunnel in the middle of a forest when she was born. What? She was eventually found, though, by a couple of urban explorers. The police couldn't find who the child was or where she came from. That's crazy. Yeah. I couldn't believe my eyes. Luckily, she was very soon adopted by a welcoming family. I can see that. Look where she is now. A kind-hearted individual taking her job seriously every day. Yeah, she's a really nice gal. But she seems off sometimes. Kind of like the type of offness that you would have if you 
fucking abandoned as a child. Is it just me? Off? <laughs> yeah. She kind of emotionless sometimes. Remember, like, even when a patient passed away, she... Hmm. Yeah, you're right. She didn't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah, she is gossipy. Let's not talk back about someone's back, Risako. You're the shit talker. I'm sorry, didn't mean to. Oh, I'm, I'm getting confused on the... Okay. So let's see here. What else is there to explore? Urban explorers, yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, if anybody's ever worked in an office, the tea gets spilled. The game looks gorgeous, though. I mean, there's just something about this, like, aesthetic that I'm a slut for. All right, Naomi. Enough time chilling out. It's time for you to wake the fuck up, you abandoned baby. Oh, do you hear that sound? Can I... Wait, is there a... How do I wake her up? Or maybe I'm not ready to go. Oh, I've got a body. Kind of a little bit ragdolly. Is there a... Interact? Inventory? Do I have an inventory? Okay, I don't have an, anything in my inventory yet. Yeah, I think the janky quality adds to a certain something. Okay, so... Whoop. Medicine cabinet. Can I grab anything? It doesn't seem like it. All right. The, the fact that the sound effects in the beginning of the game, like the rain was so loud and now it's like dead fucking silent. Crazy. Oh, okay. The, okay, I got confused there, Ryan. Okay, so is the exit this way? I think so. Here's beautiful people in glorious 10 FPS. This dark already? Oh. Are one of these my vehicle? I hope it's a sexy. Okay. Maybe not so sexy. Oh, the driver's side is on the other side anyways. Ooh, what's this? Mysterious card. Oh, <laughs> is that a patron? <laughs> to the game? That's awesome. Like, uh, somebody will support the game. That's awesome. Oh, I guess maybe I'm walking? I mean, most of the time, bartenders just, uh... Drink Amaro straight, like as a shot. Oh, can I not go this way? Kind of reminds me of that, um, I, I can't, not letting me go. It's funny that it'll let me go over here, though. Ooh, is this another mysterious card? <laughs> Oh, so wholesome. All right, well, we can kind of go up here, I guess. Oh, that's what it is? You can't, you can walk on the sidewalk, but not the street? All, all the patrons. Oh. Okay, wait, can I get in here? Do they still have pay phones in Japan? Is that a thing? Not letting me in. I have no idea, uh, Neil. Oh, take care of Suichi? I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly because I am not a weeb. Although I do love some Japanese horror. That's why I'm super excited about this. Thought there might be more, more Patreon secrets here. Okay. 
What do you think, Nikki? Am I doing... Am I even anywhere close to what, what you would call gameplay? <laughs> I mean, I like exploring. I just don't want to be completely, like... Like, not even doing the right thing. Ooh, it's really dark over here. I don't have a flashlight, do I? Can I go into any of these buildings? Ooh. This is so weird looking. Like, l this style. Yeah, you're more about that K-Life. Ooh, are we going into the, like, a fucking mysterious park? Ooh, what's this? That's just some wood. Daddy loves the woods. Holy shit. Can you imagine if you had to walk this way home? Okay. Yeah, just let me know if, like, I'm ever, like, really way off track. Jesus fucking Christ. Are you kidding me? This is not the right way. <laughs> oh, I wish that would just pop up in all the games I'm playing. You know, when I fuck shit up. Can I climb up here? No. This isn't that type of game. Holy balls. Luigi! Ooh. No mail for me. That was loud. Yeah, that's what I was thinking about, Jackie, actually. Hello? Hmm, maybe they're busy. I'm gonna go in, okay? Wait, I wanna explore just a little bit before I go in. Ooh, did you hear that? There was some stuff going on over there. There were some shenanigans. That's so fucking creepy. Oof. What is this? Is this a... Some sort of... Okay, I don't want to explore anymore. Too creeped out. <laughs> I don't like it. Okay. Alright, let's just go in. Time to do the thing. Alright. Do I uh, take my... My shoes off? That seems like it would be the polite thing to do. It got very quiet. What is the smell? Uh. Oh my god, look how creepy we are. Okay, so that frame rate is not like the rest of the game. Like, the frame rate of that is its own fucking nightmare monstrosity. Alright, where are we over here? Is this what we could see from the outside window? Okay, Japan is happening. Is this what Japanese houses look like today? What is this? What are you up to? This is odd. With some autoerotic asphyxiation shit. Like you put your ball sack through there and hang it from the ceiling. This has been exploring Japan with Alex Dalians. You put your balls through it? Okay. Um, what, what was that? Yeah, it's some sort of... Ooh. I don't like that sound at all. Oh yeah, of course I for... Oh, what did I just grab? I forgot that um, Japanese bathrooms are different than where they... Like their toilet's not in the same room. It won't open. There's a plank that's stuck. Okay. So... I think... If I'm following what to do here right, because that was the room that made... Oop. Well, this looks a little... grody. They're just leaving their trash inside. Ugh. This is gross. 
Oh, never mind. This is just the wind is causing this. I thought I should go into the bathroom from the outside. Whoa. That's a loud ass refrigerator. That's not how you asphyxiate yourself? I thought that was the way to do it. Alright. Is this the fuck station? Can I turn the lights off? I don't know why I would do that, but is it 3 a.m.? Question mark? Is that how Japan works? These these wind sound effects are freaking me the fuck out. Okay, so what I was trying to do is okay, so we can go out this way and get into the bathroom from the window is what I'm guessing. Because that seems to be where the shit's going down. This is the worst. Is this a back door? Daddy loves the back door. No. Oh, can I do anything to get in here? Do I have anything? Folded cloth. Ah. Hmm. Holy shit! Fuck. Oh my god, my fucking balls fell through the floor. Oh. Suichi? Don't scare me like that. Jesus Christ. Wait, where is Suichi? Oh. Oh, hey Suichi. You look normal. You look like you're having a good time. Okay. Hey. This is wholesome. Uh, okay, wait, how do I, uh, make a Molotov? Yeah, I need to, I need to find, uh, some Jim Beam. They were not being hung in that moment. In fact, Nikki, my balls are inside my fucking abdomen right now, if you have to know. Jeez, Nikki, why do you have to ask personal questions like that? <laughs> okay. So, I feel like that was what we needed to trigger was that jump scare thing. Drink whiskey. Feel nothing. Hmm. Okay. Um, hmm. I'm stressed. Alright, Suichi. Where were you? Oh, hey, Suichi. Ah, uh, Suichi-san. Don't scare me like that. Why didn't you say anything? What happened to your family members? Are they all out? Hey! Are you are you okay? Suichi-san? She is allowed to ask. You okay, Suichi? Yeah, you, you look fine. You look very healthy. Suichi-san? Whoa, whoa. Even after years of doing this job, I still can't get used to something like this. I need something to wipe it off. I happen to have this folded cloth here. Oh, there we go. <sighs> yes, Nikki is, uh, Jackie's correct. I should never give Nikki a tough time for inquiring about my penis. So we just Moved a little. He or she is moving. Suichi son? God damn it. You are. F this is the worst. I, I'm more afraid of this right now than I think I ever was. It's very Edward Munch. I don't know what I'm supposed to do now. This is pretty bad also. Okay, did we do the thing? Was that the... <laughs> Ryan, you were noticed. You were loved and special. Okay, it was... Okay, was that it? I just needed to clean up some urine? I can't leave, just leave. Okay, good. What am I supposed to do, though? What was that? 
Is that me just triggering something? The sound effects of like just very crank to the nine and making me super sad. Okay, maybe I was meant to go explore for the folded thing, but I'd already done so. What, what was that? Was that a faulty texture right there? Jesus. What the? Get rid of trash. Oh, okay. So, there's a lot of trash in this game. Oh, is this a staircase? I wonder where I'm taking this shit. Whoa. That smell again. How do you even get over here? Oh, I am not ha- oh. What is- what is going on? Not sure if that's good or not. Whoa! Wait, that was it? Holy shit. Hey, what's up, Naomi? Where'd you go? Are you awake? Hey, Naomi. Oh, wait, maybe I'm Naomi? Or maybe I'm playing as Naomi? Oh, I think I'm playing as Naomi. What's wrong, Senpai? <laughs> There's a gram grandpa I want you to take care of. Is this what we do for a living? Hmm, who could that be? It's Soichi. Sashi-san can't be in charge of him anymore, so can you go in her steed? Oh, we were Sachi, but now we're playing. Sure thing, but what happened to Sachi? Oh, don't worry. It's probably just a about a relationship. You know that Sachi. She's always getting raw dogged. And then she's sad. She does this time to time. <laughs> she's, she's, <laughs> she, you know, she isn't getting younger, you know. Old ass. Including myself, that is. <laughs> hmm. Anyhow. Suichi needs you. Um. Do you think I'll be fine? I've never been to a patient's house by myself. Well, we're short on people. I know it's hard, but we have to do our best and go with what we have. I left this information on your desk. All right. Um, I guess I'll do my best. All right, so I have a desk. Okay, so poor Sachi got eaten? Question mark? Oof. I wonder if it'll stop me from going if I don't get what it's on my desk. Okay, yeah. I like that about this game, that it, it, it you know, puts some fair guardrails. Is this it? Kogasuichi, age 83, gender male, weight 56 kilograms. Is that a lot or a little? Because I'm a pathetic American. Height 170 centimeters. Also, no clue what that means. Low blood sugar, feed flan on two meals a day, relaxes when bathing, should bathe every day, strong dislike for getting out of home, ask for reasons, very forgetful as of late, watch for symptoms of dementia, comment, occasional discomfort, signs of frustration and pain, prescribe opiates if necessary. That's a little ridiculous, my backpack. Do I have anything in my backpack? No, I don't. Okay. Let's just go this way real quick. Just quick little look around. 
Just in case there was anything. Okay. Wow. Oh, game is so fucking nightmarish. Well. Yes. You can say no, but you're not getting any younger. Oh my god, that's hilarious. Alright. Hundred and twenty five pounds. I'm five eleven. And I weigh not double, but pretty close. I weigh I've gotta weigh like two hundred pounds right now. Whoa. Whoever you are, I am not happy. You have a good soul. Huh? You really do. I can feel it from years of being a monk. Well, I haven't done much in my life yet. <laughs> I like I like Naomi, she's scum. It does not matter. I see that you follow the way. Visit our temple sometime. With the level of conscience you have, you should feel at home. <laughs> okay, maybe bro. Please do. All right, I fuck you. Yeah. Nothing wrong with a good sponge bath every now and again. Can I go this way? I know what's over here. This is not the right way. Okay. More like follow the scum. Something this something wicked this way scums. Scum one and scum all. Scum as you are. Does it seem more autumn? Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Does it look more red, rusty tonight than it did last night? I think it was bluer last time we were here. I wonder if the temple's up here. Suichi san! Anyone home? Looks like it's open. Yep. Yeah. Oh wait, build it and they will scum, yes. I think you're right, Orlando. I think it's like evening. That makes sense. Priority one is to take this off. Holy shit! Soichi san, you're a little, uh. Oh, but you're still growing some, some plants. That's cool. I don't think you should have a toaster oven if you can't even do some basic shit. Ooh, what's this? Rusted tin box. Seems like a key won't fit from the rust. Hmm. Maybe we'll bust it open with something else. It won't open. Hmm. We gotta figure out how to get in there. Naomi! Oh, she's kinda cute. I don't know why I'm checking the toilet, it just feels like in a Japanese horror game that would be a thing to check. Ooh, a flashlight! Nice. And it's not letting me out. Soichi-san! Mushy mushy. Okay. Whoa, god fuck! <laughs> Okay, good. Good, great. Uh, yeah, good point, Orlando. Hi, Suichi san, you look healthy. How are you? I'm Naomi. Sachi has been very busy lately. I'll be taking care of you from now on. Are you 
Is this... Oh, it's time for the balls to go in. Okay, cool. I'm gonna let you do that. Why don't we just leave you there with the ball thing? Oh! <laughs> Thank you for helping contribute to the game. How do I get over here? Do I need to go outside? What is going on? Ugh. The sound is... It's just a sound, but it's so annoying. Feels like I need to go this way. Oh, I didn't mean to crouch. Whoa. Oh, I think I just got stuck on some texture there. Oh. Uh-oh. This is where bad things happen. So loud. Oh my god. This is ridiculous. What's the name of the puppet combo game that we played? The Glass Staircase or something like that, Nikki? Um... Whoa! Oh! Look at that bird! What's on his beak? Is that paperclip? Okay. Well, this isn't good. Uh, it reminds me of that game though, where like, each n I don't like this sound. I mean, actually, I like the sound a lot from a sound designer's pers perspective. I'm trying to understand what it is synthesis-wise. All right, let's go check on Suichi. Because this motherfucker had his pornography cranked to fucking 12. Oh, wait. There was something here. There was a ladder. Oh, okay. Hmm. I believe I... Not on YouTube. Yeah, where each night was a different per person. That's kind of... I don't know if we're going to be playing Naomi for the rest of the game, but it kind of feels like... this. okay. Maybe we have to find Suichi again? Soichi san. Nani? Whoa. What was that sound? Okay. Yes, I'm definitely going to keep my eyes open for the ladder. That seems like but the problem is, is like they have all this bamboo ass wood in here that's all looking like ladders and shit god damn it like everything looks like a fucking ladder to me maybe the ladder's outside i don't want to waste too much time out here though let's just keep looking oh maybe there's something in the mailbox nothing Yeah, stream's looking pretty, pretty shit <laughs> as far as the frame rate. I, I apologize for that, guys. I apologize. Ooh. Do I, where, where did my flashlight go? Didn't I have a flashlight? Oh, there we go. Yeah, put that on. Fuck yeah. I'm looking for a goddamn lighter and a, and a Soichi Sen. What? Why is this place so disgusting? The green dots? Oh, really? Oh, I thought the green dots were just like bad textures. Oh, shucks. Okay, yeah. That, oh, maybe we need to go look at the bird. Let's go up here first, though. Ooh. Let's just go check out hell real quick. Can I get rid of this trash? 
Oh. So what you're saying is that right there is something to pay attention to? All right, so I can't get in there yet. I thought that was someone's shoe for a second. Oh. Hey! Nice. Okay. All right, thank you for letting me know, Nikki. I would not have... Why is this guy's house a fucking maze? Okay, I think I know where I am. Should be close to the door? Okay. I, I think I was right to go looking for the bird. Hey, bird. Oh, the paperclip. Hmm. What am I supposed to do with that? Hmm. I love this type of shit. Like, because I'm an American and I don't understand what it means, I'm like, oof. This is good. This is the good shit. Paperclip on rusted box. Yes, Gaetano, you smart ass bitch. I gotta look her. Whoa. Oh, oh, it's the fucking ladder. Maybe I can find a way to take it down. Where is. Okay, so it's on floor two. All right. Let's go look. All right, now. Gaetano, if I was only smart enough to remember where the rusted box was, I thought it was upstairs, right? Or was it over here? Wait. What was that sound? God, this game is fucking with me something hard. Okay, wait a second. Are we near... Where... It's... It's very disorienting. Where was the ladder? Was it over there? Oop. Can I use the paper clip? Take a peek. Oh, I hate how the sound goes away. The window that's open? I felt like the ladder's way over there. Oh! Aha! Thomas! <laughs> Alright. Let's find that rusted box. Place is such a fucking maze. Hey, have a good night. I don't think I could, Gaetano. Okay, that's where the bird... Gave itself the, the forever sleep. Was the rest of the box over here? Oh, this is the peak, right? Let's see if it works with a flashlight. I honestly wasn't trying, trying to come back here. I just did. Oh, 
<sighs> this is just waiting for a murder bunny to show up. Okay, rusted box isn't up here. I feel like the rusted box is our best lead right now. So let's see if we can find that again. How did this, like, I, I feel like I've completely lost track of the kitchen and stuff, right? Remember how that was a thing? Oh, I'm so disoriented. Thank you, Nikki. Okay, how do I... I'm so lost. Oh, the doors. I hope that was the door just closing behind me. Like they eventually close. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Okay, so. Okay, task number one. Oh, here we go. That's what it was. I thought that that wasn't openable. I think the kitchen's right over here. Okay. Rusted box. Uh, or it was nearby. Here we go. All right, let's uh, try this. Pick the lock. Yes. Nice thinking, Gaetano. A shed key. Oh, and that even seems like something that would be good to have outside. Hmm. We're looking for a shed, guys. Nicely done, Gaetano. Okay, let's find us a motherfucking shed. Maybe there's a key somewhere. Aha! What is that? Uh, why are these va vases horrific? I can't see well in the dark. Well, good thing I got a flashlight. Pick up the tool. Yes. Whoa. Is that like a, a like a hoe? And I don't mean like Nikki before she met Ryan. I mean just like a gardening hoe. Are we going to need that to defend ourselves? Miso, yes, we finally got, I think, a weapon. Ooh, what's this? Nothing, it's just a texture. I wonder if there's any, while we're out here and Nikki said to explore, let's keep exploring. What is this? Is this like a, okay, this is more of the house. And was the ladder over here? No, the burb was over here. Rip. F in the chat for the bird. Oh, yes, Gaetano, that's so fucking good. Yeah! God, Gaetano's brain is so good. <laughs> Oh man, brilliant ho days. <laughs> All right, oop. Okay, so we got the ladder. Wow, I can carry a whole fucking ladder with me. All right, so we kind of know what to do. Oh, interesting, when you have the ladder out, you can't run. All right, but that's kind of fine. Um, wait, the ladder wasn't upstairs. The ladder was in the... I'm gonna call it the Stoichi room for lack of a better phrase. It was over here, right? Yes. Here we go. Climb up. I really don't want to, but we're going to. I 
I can't get over brilliant ho days. Oh yeah, this looks perfectly safe. Man, this is a nasty motherfucker. Oop. Yay! I like that you can turn the cards off in the settings, but I don't think I ever would, because I appreciate the, all of the people who made this game possible. A stool? Okay. Get that flashlight back out, though. So we've got, whoa, clipping out of bounds. Through the ceiling. All right, I don't think I'm supposed to go up there. Oop, is there anything? No. Okay. Hmm. Yes, I always go down. <laughs> Cheers to Cunnilingus. All right. Dual rope strong beam. <laughs> yeah, I know. Seriously. Okay. What? Ooh. Okay, what could we use the stool for? We could try the the tool on the door, right? Because there's some shit going on there. What do you guys think? Oh God! <laughs> the kettle was left boiling, and the water was left running. You demented fuck! Where's your family? They're all dead. Anyways, I have to take you to the bath now. The, oh. How do, how do I do that? Are you okay? So, do you guys think that means I need to go to the bathroom? Wherever it went. God, you were horrifying. Oh, it won't open. There's a plank that's... Okay, maybe we can put the stool by the window. Alright, so let's see here. If I go out the front door and around this way right it should be the second window something like that here's the strong beam gaetano okay here's the first window windows open okay let's uh let's use the stool here ha ha victory is mine okay can i get up there i can see that a plank is blocking the bathroom door i need to find B, oh, bold, something that can budge it down. It's too high for me, so I need something to step on as well. All right, let's try using the farm tool. Noise. I'm straight gaming. Yeah, look at, look at it, uh, you know. Oh, holy shit! Did y'all see that? Because I'm rocking two inches right now after looking at that shit. Jesus. Fucking Christ. Okay. Everything's fine. Can I, can I get the hoe? No, I can't get the hoe. This water looks perfectly good for Soichi-san. Okay, so the door's open. Maybe we just go talk to Soichi? Our good buddy Soichi-san. Oh. Of course, he's moved. Even though he seems incapable of moving his, on his own, never moves. What is the purpose? Is this like for barbecue? Is this like a Japanese contraption for barbecue? 
Yeah, I want to go push him now, but I don't know. Oh. Soichi san, why are you outside? How'd you get outside, buddy? All right. Like, this has such Ringu vibes. Like, have you have you guys seen Ringu? If you haven't, you really should. Um, but just like the way that the interior of these houses is so creepy. Soichi, let's get you inside. Ah, neat, Jackie. What is that sound now? I hate this sound. Oh. There's a truck. Anything in the mailbox? Ah, delivered package. The Netflix technical prequel? No. So ECT. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, sorry to bother you. I received a package just now. I'm going to leave it on the kitchen table, okay? Do I still have the package? Yeah, okay, so I'll just go into the kitchen. Yes, let's take him to bed. So there's a prequel to Ringu on Netflix? Why is this happening? I thought the game crashed, maybe? Oh, hello. Hi. Risako-san. What's up? About Suichi. There's something wrong about his family. None of his family members were home. I feel very uneasy about it. I was wondering if Sachi-san knows anything? Hmm. You want to take a look at her work diary? Yeah. That would, uh, help. Oh, and she's taking a sick leave again. Maybe you can visit her. See if she's doing okay. Oh, that's creepy. Oh, God. I'm crying in Japanese horror right now. Oh, my fuck. Alright, let's go over to Suichi-san's. Or, uh... Um... Whatever her name is. I was hoping we could find her work diary over here. Oh. oh, it's a oh, it's a cat. Love cats. Okay, I can't leave yet, right? Yeah. Very really, very Silent Hill too to have a lot of doors that are just always locked. Maybe that's a J-horror thing. On the front desk, okay. Oh, maybe do I, can I go in here? Okay, whoop. Yes! <laughs> I think it's so cool that they put the patrons in the game. Just a normal day at Suichi's, but there's one thing that bothered me. The house kind of smells. Where is it coming from? I should try to get rid of the stench tomorrow. I don't know. Suichi suffers dementia. 
He doesn't talk much, if not at all. This is odd. He was fine yesterday. Maybe his symptoms are starting to show now. I pray he will be okay. Day three. His family members were supposed to be at home today. They called us last minute to say they couldn't make it. It was just Soichi at home today. I really wish they let us know sooner. Oh well, I shouldn't complain. I tried taking out the trash again and used the air freshener. Nothing seems to work. The house still reeks of something rotten. When I arrived today, Suichi wasn't at home. Turns out he was lying on the ground outside. What's going on? I also hear scratches of walls and banging on the ceilings. I tried checking where the sounds were coming from. Nothing's there. Ah, that blasted smell again. I just can't put a finger on where the smell is coming from. Everything about that house is driving me insane. The room in the second floor. What was that? Grandma? Why are you here? What are you doing? It can't be real, right? I feel cold. Maybe I'm just sick. I shouldn't go to work tomorrow. What happened at Suichi's? Something's wrong with Sachi-san. I have to go visit her. I can go now, from what I heard. She lives nearby. Okay. So are we going to go to Sachi-san's house and find some dark shit now? From what I remember, Sachi-san lives nearby. She should be living in the tallest apartment building in the area. Oh, okay. Hmm. Looks like that's the tallest one over there. What do you guys think of this game so far? I'm fucking loving it. Oh, we can walk across the street. Well, that one looks really tall. Oh, I see. It's, it's, you gotta wait till it's your turn to cross. Can't be jaywalking. Yeah, I, I'm I'm right there with you. Wait, I can go this way, but what about if I want to go this way? It's not letting me jaywalk. Oh, wait. Please let me go. That looks like well, okay, we'll we'll explore over here for now. I feel like that's the tallest one though. Ooh, that looks really tall. It's so cute that there's no jaywalking in this game. How uniquely Japanese. Whoa, fucko. I'm from Lake Worth. I don't trust you. I won't let you pass. Huh? Do I know you? No. So does that mean I can pass? No. You have the same uniform as the girl who lives here. That means I can't let you pass. Hmm. Why? I don't even live here. It doesn't matter. You have to win in a game of rock, paper, scissors. I wish Gaetano was here. Then I'll let you pass. Yeah, <laughs> Annie, exactly. Rock, paper, scissors, you are kidding me? Shut up and listen. Or I won't let you pass. All right, fine. Oof. Are we fighting? Here we go. Rock, paper, scissors. Shoot. What should I use? Let's use, uh, everybody always starts with rock, right? Paper. Ha! Too easy. Can't let you pass then. All right, we double down, right? Here we go. Rock, paper, scissors. Shoot. What should I use? Let's use rock again, right? Paper, fuck. Too easy, can't let you pass. Uh, let's triple it. No, it seems like he's programmed to never let me win with that. But let's do it for a fourth time, just in case. I mean, if I was playing a real human being, I would keep pushing it. Yeah, okay. Well, okay, so if he's doing paper, the obvious answer would be scissors, right? Ah! I lost. <laughs> You're, so he just always goes with paper. However, you really thought I'd let you pass with just a game of rock, paper, scissors? Yeah, I did. Think again, loser. But you said all I need is one thing. And I know you have lots of them. Buttholes. I know you do. Have what? Bring me the drug. The drug? Stop playing dumb. I've been getting it from your friend. Oh, shit. But she's acting weird lately and won't give me the damn shit. 
and runs off like a psychopath. You say that. Bring me the drug. <laughs> and I'll let you pass. Okay. Honestly, I was hoping this game would feel like a journey to a, you know, like to a different country where the conventions are very different. What I'm learning now is that Japan is identical to Lake Worth Beach, aside from that you can't jaywalk. Because <laughs> this is just J Lake Worth Beach simulator. Yep. There was a cabinet in the... Can I go back here? Oh, wait, wait. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> good use of the chef kiss there. All right. Yeah, there was a... Because, yeah, Orlando's right. Like, at the beginning of the game, over here, there was a cabinet, I think. That had drugs. Oh, maybe it's in this room? Yeah, here it is. Oh, this looks like drugs. Morphine! Oh, man. Yes. Give him the drug. Oof, I'm conflicted about this. You know, everybody do whatever you want. Have a good time. Opiates are kind of like... Opiates are probably what you don't want to try out for fun. Yeah, it's Japanese. It's, it's the Japanese nightmare because not only is it Japan, but they also jaywalk here. I swear I became a worse driver when I moved to Lake Worth Beach. Like all of Florida is pretty lawless when it comes to driving, but it is by far the worst here. Yes. Ah, uh, yes. This. This. <laughs> One drug, please. <laughs> All right. We gave the guy. Oh, I feel bad. I don't I don't like it. Yeah, let's go. Her door shouldn't just be open, though, right? I don't need to go there right now. Is this the... Oh. Sexy. <laughs> the little sloth. Can I hit this? Okay, wait. Nope. How do I know? Maybe it's this one at the end of them? Yes. Is it humid out? Yeah, it was pretty hot today. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we can't take more tea? I want more tea. Mug. It's not letting me grab it. Do I need to get rid of something? Oh, we can only do one thing at a time. Okay, so let's put the kettle on the stove. And then put the... It's not letting me grab that. Or the mug. We need water. That's not letting me grab that either. What's going on here? Hmm. I want to make tea. Seems very Japanese to make tea. Whoa, well, fuck! Are you a junkie too? Tachi san? Are you okay? Oh. I'm okay. Just feel. Hi. You want me to get you some tea? Yeah. Yeah, that would be nice. Okay. I think I can hear that it's it's boiling. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's put some of this. In the mug. Oh, we got a mug of tea. Perfect. Oh, I'd already accidentally put the bag in there. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I love how there's like the little... A little, like, super loosey-goosey. Here you go, Sachi. Drink the tea. That'll help with the, uh, the withdrawals. Are you alright now? So cold. Don't worry, I think I just caught a cold. Uh, Sachi-san? 
So I came here to ask you something. I read your work notes and, uh, what happened at Suichi's? And what happened to his family? Why? <laughs> Why? Why? What? Why? Nanio! <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to mention. It's because I'm in charge of taking care of him now. Get out! Get out! I don't want... I don't want to get involved anymore. Hashtag never forget. Oh. <laughs> okay, let <laughs> me just scroll through this real quick. Nanio! Okay. Well, I guess we'll just be pol polite in Japanese and leave, right? Nothing left to do here. Unless I can take more tea. Nah, it doesn't appear that I can. Can I go in here? Nope. Nope, and that's just... Yeah, that's just that. Okay. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> yeah, Orlando, this is clear why, why I get paid the big bucks. Whoa. Whoa, fuck! Yo! Sachi. Holy ball sweat. Yeah, I think I'm a good anime actor too. Jesus Christ. It feels like it's raining inside this building. Yeah, F in the chat. I apologize. Where's everyone? I don't have to go to the Fuichis. What is this feeling? I feel like I should hurry. Okay, I can hurry. Look at this. <laughs> this is graphics. Oh my god. I love it. Yeah, this was... This is fucked up. Oh, we can go this way? Oh, I don't need to go there now. Okay. We need to get to Suichi's. I love this rain. Like how it's steaming on the ground. I don't know if that's how rain is in Japan, but I'm assuming this is accurate. Oh my god. Rip Sachi-san. I love Sachi. Not her fault. Yeah, it's only five bucks. By the way, I meant to say that at the beginning. This game's five dollars, so... Absolutely. If you guys want to play through this game too, or even if you just want to, like, think of it as a donation to Chilla's Art, I think that they are one of the most incredible game devs right now and deserve a little bit of a uh, little bit of financial love. If you know what I'm saying? Anything in the mailbox? Nothing. All right. <laughs> Even louder in the house. A little uh, phasing occurring there. That's what happens when you mix sounds. Okay. God, this game is loud. Do you think Soichi's up up at the ladder? I'm kind of interested, actually. Oh. Oh, can't get up there right now. He is still in the tub? Yeah, Chilla's art is something else. No, he's not still in the tub. Oop. Ooh, it's open. Let's see what's inside. Hopefully it's Oh, I left <laughs> I left him in the in the tub. What was inside? Ooh, car jack crank. Nine out of ten hogs cranked. I love it. Alright, let's keep this out though, because we need to find That is one seriously well, perverted <laughs> bitch. <laughs> Sachi's on memorial fund. Oh my god. Oh, thank you very much for the generous donation. That's awesome. My heart, though. Oh, Sachi. I know, it's so sad. 
Okay. Let us uh, find this Edward Munch dream impersonator. Is there a rat? Oh, look, rats! Rip the mattress. We're not worried about the. We're not concerned about the, the the rabies buddies at all, are we? Oh, okay. So it's just blood. Wait, was there something in there? Ah, van key. Nice. Well, that's an interesting place to put the van key. Well, I was already a wet boy, so we might as well just go find our way outside. Now we should be able to get into the van, right? Well, okay, up and over the van. Yes, here we go. Nani! All right, flashlight back out. Oh, car jack. Okay, so wait a second. Was that it? Is there anything else in here? Okay, we can't go up front still. Okay, well, what about if we put the car jack? Can we... Jack this motherfucker? It would seem that that would be a thing to do, right? Okay, we're on the van. I feel like we're not supposed to be up here, but... Okay. What about the... Carjack crank? Are we missing, like... In typical puzzle game fashion. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was going to say, do we need to find, like, one more thing? Oh, whoa. Oh, God, that scared me. Didn't that look like the shadow of a person? See? All right, while we're out here, let's just be a little thorough. Hmm. Is something for inside the house? Yeah. It might be one of those things that we use for like a couple of different purposes, like the, uh, the hoe. Everybody knows hoes are multi-purpose. I think Aitano's right, though. We probably need to find a tire. Whoop. Heard something. Well, we could go peek in the this door. Are stuck somehow. Maybe I can use something to force it open. Bold. Check the oh, check the shed. Yeah, smart. Um, can I use a car jack? Oh, maybe I use the car jack here. Oh, wait. Oh, I, I was using it. I've been placing it. Will that open it? Yes. Oh, here we go. I don't know about this, guys. I'm a little fucking unsure about this move. This might not be the move. <laughs> Fuck me. Hmm. 
We've made our way inside. Okay, crowbar. Bloody note. Good fortune comes beneath the floor. What is this? Okay. Looks like we'll need something to cut that open. Like wire cutters or something. Good. Oh. Yay. Good fortune comes beneath the floor. Hmm. We got a crowbar. Can anyone think of some good floor that looks like, uh, looks like we might be, might have some good fortune underneath it? Ugh. You go talk to the rats again. I guess we gotta pay attention to the floor now. See if there's any place where it looks like the floor's fucked up or something that we can get through it. I don't know. Let's go look over in this section of the house. I much prefer being over here just because it's less, um, a little less ominous because I can tell where I am. It's a little less labyrinthine. Some floor tune? What does that mean, Jackie? Brought down a lot of ladders back in the day, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Scum comedy night. It's gonna be on Friday the 21st this month at Revelry. Five dollars. Definitely come out if you're in Lake Worth or the surrounding areas. You get to see me and more importantly, the hilarious Gaetano Contini live. Support your scum family. Wear a mask. Don't be a dickhead. Um, can, we, can, we, can we go up here? Can I crowbar this? I don't think I can crowbar that. Floor, floor fortune. Florchin'. I get it. I'm looking for my florchin too. It'll probably be green, right? Hmm. We're in the whack off room. All right, I think I've covered this part of the house and there wasn't anything that looked like a good place to find a florchin. So why don't we have go into the labyrinth here? Oh, oh, this could be it. Pry it open, yeah. I don't know why this is the spot in particular, but let's do it. Oh, big stretch, big daddy stretch. This feels like Silent Hill, like going into holes in the ground. Go down. I always go down. Yo, Naomi's got some serious balls. Because, you know, when you've been seeing like a weird ghost like run past, I'm not going down into this fucking... What the fuck? like straight darkness is this what it is to be inside of a butthole like is this how it feels you put the camera on the end of a penis okay daddy's not scared There's the sphincter. I don't want to talk about what this is. Hmm? Oh, a fire in a cave. That doesn't look good. Oh, I hate this sound. What am I looking at? Whoa, what am I looking at? What is going on? Yo. Yeah, colonoscopy simulator. Uh, is this demons? Oh, wait, maybe it is demons. Maybe it's a ghost. A yore. Bird heads? Whoa, whoa, yeah, that's a yore. Your phone. Fine. A polyp polyp? A 
Yep, let's go check this out. Oh, that's Suichi? Oh my god, that's Suichi with a mask on? Are you fucking kidding me? I want to see what's over here, though. The time of the deeds has been engraved to the elderly clocks. Have you guys noticed how there's been a bunch of clocks in the room? I thought they were in the in the house. I thought they were just kind of like a, you know, like a random item. And I noticed, like I said, that one was at 3 a.m. That was the time of one of the deeds. The mother got stabbed while preparing dinner at 3.30. Maybe it was 3.30 a.m. The girl was strangled when she was coming back from school and the clock struck 8.10. The boy got pushed down the stairs and the clock struck 540. Can someone remember these times for me? The father pushed down the window and the clock struck 1150. Like screenshot that for me. The gods will aid when the timepieces align. All right, so we need to align some timepieces. Let's go. Okay. Nikki's saying, remember this. So I will do the screenshotting here. All right. Okay, well that's good to know. Let's uh, take a second to look at Sawaichi. You look handsome. Penis nose. Okay. I screenshotted them, guys. But if anybody else wants to have them on hand in case it requires some fast thinking, that wouldn't be bad. Oh my god. Alright, I'm up against a butthole again. Wait. Is there something over? No. Whoa, do you see that? What is this? Who are you? Hey. You look... Oh, that's not good. Okay. Let's go away from that. Fastly. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's get away. Okay, yeah, let's go. Climb up? Yes, I would like to. Kitchen, 3.30, school, 8.10, bottom of stairs, 5.40, window. Oh, is Satsujin here? Uh, okay, I gotta go. Oh, fuck, I gotta go. I gotta go. Please let me through. Please let me through. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck. Oh, I am so fucked! Okay, rats. Okay, penis is small. Uh, hello, Satsujin. Um, okay, uh... Okay, we're gonna go not that way. Alright, so the kitchen... was here. Oh, I really fucked myself. But, I was able to box her out with a table, a la Alien Isolation. That's good. Where the fuck are the timepieces? Oh, this is the worst. Okay, let's be a little careful. Use our eyeballs. Uh, upstairs seems like a trap, but we're gonna do it anyways, just so I can rule it out. Anybody see a clock anywhere? Wow. Oh god, please let me out. Oh, here's one. Uh, oh fuck. What do I do? Oof, this isn't good. What do I do, guys? Oh my gosh. I can't read chat. I'm panicking. Oh, uh, please, rats. Just... Okay. Okay. We need a fucking second here. Holy ball sweat. Oh. All right. Okay. All right. Hi, Satsu. How are you? Wow, that is stress. I thought Alien Isolation was bad. Ooh, go outside. That's not a bad idea. Okay. Uh, I don't think I have anything to fight with. Alright, let's go outside on... Oh, I can't get out. Fuck. God damn it. How do you get ahead enough of the demon to be able to enter the time? Like, that's crazy. You have to be so fast. And then the stuff glitches out super weird like this. She's right up on my shit. 
Okay, what... What was the time, guys? What was the time? Okay, wait. Uh, okay, let's stop for a second. I have no clue what I'm supposed to be setting that to. Alright. Let's look at the screenshot I took. Oh, I got a bad... Preparing dinner. Push down the stairs in 540. Or push down the window at 1150. Do you guys think it's fi the, the window or push down the stairs? I'm doing very well, Satsu. No, no, no. The 3.30 is the, the clock near the kitchen, I'm guessing. So this is either the window or... I don't know. So we need to go further away. Follow what Nikki is saying. Well, that's not the way I want to go. Please let me out. Out. Please let me out. Okay. So, like, preparing dinner might be over here. Alright. Hello. Let's get you all the way over here. Okay. Now we're moving. We're gaming. This is not the way. Which was the... Wait, wait. Was there one on the wall over here? Yes, there was. Okay. That's good. We're gonna go back, though. We're gonna come back to this point. Okay, so... Okay, let's just go this way. And go all the way back to... I like the kitchen as a place, because I know I can catch her out with the, the table. Okay. Let's strategize for a second. True. Is very loud here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so Satsu Chilla's art makes um, games a la uh, Puppet Combo, uh, but they're uniquely Japanese, so this definitely has very big Ringu vibes. Um, yeah. Oh, it's on, oh, there's one in the kitchen right here? I almost think like I maybe shouldn't wait. Maybe I should just go for it, because that's a 350, right? Yeah, okay, so, wait, wait. Oh, fuck, I pushed it past that. Okay, let's keep moving. Oh, God, that's not good. We can come back for that. I wonder if I regenerate health or if I'm just, like, fucked. I might have to... take a mulligan on this one and... Well, anyways... Okay, wait, let's, wait, let's take a second here. I'm thinking this is pushed down the stairs. And I think it should be 540. <laughs> you, I got you, Gaetano, that's awesome. All right, so, uh... Okay, let's move. Let's not wait around. This is the wrong way. This is the wrong way. Oh, I am so balls. I'm just trying to get out of here and I don't even know where I am. Oh, there she is. Okay, you, she, she looked like she was stuck on something. Oh God, fuck. That scared the fuck out of me. Okay. So, let's get back into the kitchen and take a second just to uh, get that to 3.30. Okay, perfect. And now we can wait for her. Oh god, this is... Okay, so I got one... I I didn't... This is the only one I've set so far. But the idea I was having was to sort of set um, just... Did she get stuck on something again? I might, I might benefit from that. Oh, there she is. Okay, good. Oh. Okay. 
Let's get upstairs. And I'm setting the upstairs one to 540, right guys? Please tell me that's right, because that's what I'm going for. Let me in. Let me upstairs. All right, and I can set this to 40. Oh, that's not, oh, wait, wait, wait. that must not be it. Wait a second, okay, let's take a second. Okay, preparing dinner. Not that, one. okay, I got that one already. Strangled when she was coming back from school, 810. Pushed down the stairs when the clock was, I think it says 540. Did anybody else get that? My, my screenshot looks terrible. I don't know if you can see how fucking blurry that is, but. Pushed down from the window and the clock struck 1150. So it could be 1150. What do you guys think? What was the stairs? That's what I'm assuming this one is because it's right by the stairs, but I could be wrong. It looks like 540 to me, but it didn't go. So maybe it's 1150. Stairs is 540, okay. So what I'm going to do is go this way. This must be the window okay where are you I can catch her out up here too which is good to know uh, I thought I didn't have enough time yes I'm gonna test the other two times but I want to do that when I know she I've got her far away from me Wow, she actually does take longer than you'd think. Well, in a way, I kind of think maybe I should just go for it. All right, 11. There we go. All right, cool. That wasn't so bad. Maybe she got stuck on something. I don't know. Five. 50. No, eight ten. No. What could it be? Where is she? Okay, wait a second. All right, so we got two of them. We got eight ten and eleven fifty left, right? No, no, wait. I just did eleven fifty. Five forty. Maybe this one's five forty. Yeah, that would make total sense, right? Okay. I feel like the ghost got caught on something. Nice. Okay, I'll take any sort of cheese I can get. I don't know where the ghost went. Okay, by the entrance. Came home from school. Where's the ghost? Oh, there's a ghost! Jesus fucking skulls! Okay. Well, we can catch her out here. I can kind of keep doing this loop. Oh, fuck. You can just go through walls. That's cool. Alright, guys. Last one has to be around here somewhere. Where could it be, though? Came home from school. Okay, let's go this way. Okay, let's take a second. Let me see what it said. Stabbed while preparing dinner, strangled, pushed, wait. When she was coming, when she was strangled when coming back from school and the clock struck 810. We're looking for a clock and it's gonna be 810. And unfortunately, I, holy shit. I just feel so lost. I, I feel like I can't have much health left. Please let me through. Okay. I Oh, I can't get out. Right, I forgot. Let's catch her out at the kitchen. God, you are fucking nightmarish. Okay. You guys see it? I need to find 
this clock very badly in a major way. All right, let's go. Has anybody seen the fucking clock? Like, I was thinking it must be in this room, but I don't see it anywhere. Maybe it's in here? No. Oh. How did I dodge a death there? Or a hit? Oh, do you see anything? Oh, God. Okay, I just need a breather. My fucking stress levels. Holy fuck. Okay. Ghost needs therapy. Yes, very good hair transplant. Okay. Guys, I need help. I do not know where that last, like, Gaetano, use your mind. Where, where could that last clock be? Came home from school and was strangled. I feel like there's a hint there. Hmm. Yeah, deep breaths. Okay. This music is intimidating. The front door? Yeah, that's kind of what I was trying to, like, find. Alright, let's go upstairs. That'll give us the mo the, Okay, this is thinking clearly. We're gonna go upstairs. Unless there's a second entrance to the house. Alright, so if we're upstairs here, we should be able to catch her out. By going the opposite way that she comes. Okay, so this... Oh, the problem is, is the screenshot I got is terrible. So it says... Something strangled when she was coming back from school, probably, and the clock struck 8.10. That's what I have, Orlando. I can't tell if, like, you get far enough away from her, if maybe she stops chasing you. Maybe she can't go up the stairs. Let's see if she can come up the stairs. Yep, she can. That's good. Let's go this way. All right, now we can get ahead of you and around you and far away from you and get back to... Oh, I am doing the wrong thing. Oh well, I think I'm still far enough ahead of her that I have some time to look around now. Okay, so what I was thinking is it would be over here. But see, there doesn't appear to be a clock anywhere ne immediately near the front. Oh my god, she's right behind me. She's so fucking fast sometimes. And I mean, you would think that it can't be that far from the front door, right? Because if it was... Hmm. God, this is really stressful. What do you guys... Oh, God damn it. Okay, need another breather. Okay. Oh, you saw it? Room to the immediate left of the front door. Okay. There, in the TV room. We did the TV room one on your right. Oh, the fear made me forget. When you first walk through the front door, it's the first door on your right. Is she faster near the clocks? It could be, Annie. Okay. All right. So, I don't... So, here's the weird thing is... I don't know if you guys noticed, but it's like definitely... Definitely like the, um, like when I go all the way upstairs, it takes her forever to get there. But once I've gone down, it's like she's pretty much right on me. So we'll do it anyways, though. Let me in. 
I still want to see if catching her out this way is good. It does take her a while to get here. All right, and then first door, if I come, if I was coming through the front door, it's the first door on my right. I think I got this. Let's open this door up, by the way. This one too, so when she comes up here. There she is. All right. First door on my right. So through the front door, first door on my right, and we are looking for a clock, and we're gonna set that to eight. Ten. Okay. What is this? Oh. Do you guys remember where this is? Because I sure don't. What is that? Okay. I don't know where she went. Could that be up? I'm guessing it's upstairs just because it looked like it kind of was in this room. Oh, I thought it was this thing. Ugh. Through here. Here's. I definitely thought it was up here. And it's not. Okay. That sucks. Do you guys remember where a thing like that could be? Okay, it's not up here. All right, so I think we can say it's not upstairs. Is it in this room anywhere? Okay, it does not appear to be here. Hello, rats. Keep moving. Could it be in here? Could it be over? Oh, here we go. Religious dagger, yep. Okay, let's take the dagger. Oh God, I can't see her coming. Okay, I have the dagger out, right? Yeah. Where are you? You fuck. Wait, where did you go? I'd really like it if you came out here. Oh, yes, 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 yes. You're right, you're right, you're right. Okay, let's get the flashlight out just so I can see. I don't know where the ghost is. I don't care. I'll take every advantage I have. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, no, it's this way, right? Please... Please? Please? Oh my god, I thought that was it. Okay. Let's take a second. Let's, let's strategize. The thing on the floor is a note. Back into the cave. Oh yeah, that would make sense. Maybe we, maybe we kill Sachuichi? That could be what happens. Okay. Back into the cave. Hello, rats. I think I know how to get to the cave. I thought it was right through... Wait, is this it? God damn it, I need a fucking flashlight. It's so hard to tell where I'm at. No, we're in the kitchen now, okay. It seems like the ghost just despawned. Like, maybe I'm okay? Like, maybe at this point, like, you can just kind of wander freely? Okay, here we go. Go down, yes. Okay. I agree, but Suichi's gotta go. 
Fucking sweet, she's gonna get it. Will this let me through? Boom! Right in your chest, bitch. Bring Suichi down? I guess I have to. Thank you, young one. The curse didn't allow me to speak. I'm sorry I couldn't figure things out sooner. No, you did more than what I dreamed for. You gave me a chance. Now listen. The raven? The raven is after me. It is using my wife to complete itself. <laughs> Your wife? I thought she passed away. The raven can interact with the dead. He has coerced her soul back to this world. The condition for his summoning is for the dead to perform the ritual on the person she loved most. Now, you must save my wife's spirit. But how? Her bone box is in the altar. Bone box? It should be sealed tight with a red string. I'm assuming that's the upstairs one? Get it out of the house and the demon will back away. Okay. Use this. It should cut through anything. You have a good soul. I trust in you. Okay, I got scissors now. Really good scissors. Pretty sure the raven isn't an issue anymore, didn't we? <laughs> yeah, I think the raven's not a big deal. Uh, yeah, always after the bone box. It's kind of sad. Oh wait, no. I need to go upstairs. He said, take it outside, right? Whoa. Yeah, the ghost is his wife, I guess. Oh, why do I feel so bad? Like I just lost the game. Whoa, shit. Hey, Mr. Scarecrow. Wait. Oh my god, I'm in, am I in a... I'm trapped. I'm like in a... Holy shit. Oh, it's reappearing here, great. Just great. Hi Chris, how are you? Things are great over here. I'm fine. Whatever you think, I'm fine. I'm good. Daddy's fine. I've never been back. Okay, you're appearing here now. Okay. That's fine. Back the way I came. Do I have my flashlight still? That would be helpful. It's getting darker. I can be It's very intense. 
intense. Oh, <laughs> uh, how are you, Chris? What? Oh my god, does that- Oh, I hope I don't have to play through the whole fucking thing again. Wait, the next day... Okay, wait, where am I? And how do I- Okay, I can get this- Okay. So I think it lets you retry from... Okay, so I don't have to play through the whole thing. I was about to be like, fuck this game. Okay, before I do this, does anybody have any uh, ideas about strategy here? Because that was just a nightmare in human form. Like, that was the worst. Oh, yeah, this game is horrifying, Chris. To do because I don't know the turns. It is a maze. The problem is, is I have no idea which way, like what I should be thinking about because every room looks the fucking same. All right, let's try that again. Yes, I'm going to try not to die, Ryan. That is fucking the worst. With his weird chicken feet. Yeah, I know, seriously. Okay. Okay. Okay, that's not good. Alright, so somehow this thing is... Maybe we... I can't tell if the, when the demon appears if that's good or bad. There's like lights this way. I can't see. I cannot see. Yeah, I know. Oh, okay. Avoid the black smoke. I was going straight into the black smoke. I was like, okay. Black smoke it is. Kuramoto Naomi. All right. Mm. It's funny that we're playing as an American character and i love that they just give you the game the scissors right here uh let's go upstairs all right so real quick you guys like again if anything appears to you to be a way to do this let let a bitch know because i don't want to say it feels random but it feels like super um like hard to know what to do here I don't need, I, I think you're supposed to just feel like you're like saying Tiff and, and Chris, like. Yeah, I don't think the flashlight's helpful because it the game blacks out. Okay, so let's run away from that. Oh wait, I, I have to run through it there. Okay, this is good. This is fine. Everything's okay. I'm not afraid. Whoa! I like this. This looks familiar. Yeah, the fucking music is right. <laughs> I ran as fast as I could. Just when I came out of, ran out of breath, I saw a small, worn-out building. It's an old temple. 
Just looking at it made me feel its history. I looked back. The Karasu Tengu was gone. Did I lose him? I decided to enter the temple. I saw that fucking monk chanting. I was hesitant to disturb him, but he must have felt my presence. He slowly turned to me and stared at the bone box as he walked. The monk spoke before letting me speak. Here, give it to me. I handed the box without a second thought. My hands were still trembling from the adrenaline. If you were a little late, the poor woman's spirit would have suffered a great deal. I was relieved. Suichi was right. It seems that his wife, Hayori, was unharmed because I took the bone box out of the house. The monk then told me to bury it in a grave before it attracts anything else. He helped me do so and even offered a prayer of protection for me and the couple. I also prayed. Prayed that Hayori was safe, safely released, and Suichi to be as far from the foul spirits as possible. I'm happy that Hori has finally had the chance to watch over Suichi in the other world. But where did the Terasu Tengu go? Is he gone for good? Either way, I have to make sure that Suichi does not go back there again. A few days have passed, and I've decided to still care for Suichi. It was very sweet. It's a nice sunny day. We're going to visit Hayori's grave today. Now that we've had our moment of peace, I can finally greet her. These pre-rendered backgrounds are very Resident Evil. Yeah. They're trauma bonded. Oh. Wow. Whoa. What a shame. He was already gone the moment you stepped into the house. What a shame. A game by Chilla's Art. Wow. Yo. That was crazy. Whoa. Jesus fucking Christ. That was something else. Yes, <laughs> trauma bonded to a demon. If that isn't the story of my fucking life. No, I think, um, I think, uh, Doichi was dead and was already like being controlled by the raven demon, whatever that is. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> you will hug him and love him and call him George. <laughs> oh my god. What a... I have to say that I've said Ringu a couple of times here. This game made me feel like the first time you see Ringu more than anything I've ever seen or or played or anything like that. Like that first time, I mean like cuz we, we we all saw the ring when we were growing up. But like, you know how that like really fucked with you the first time? That's what I'm talking about. Where it's like, it, 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 but this was like kind of to the next level. Not just because it's interactive, but because like it pushes the weird even a little further. 
but in that uniquely Japanese way, as compared to normally, I'm really into lo like the Lovecraftian stuff, but I just love that same level of weird horror where it, it fucks with you because your brain can't handle what you're looking at. But, um, yeah, it's just, just amazing. What a great game. Ah, that's an interesting fun fact, Ryan. Wow. Yeah, Trickster. Wow. Thank you for making this game, Chilla. That was incredible. Wow. All right. Well, that was painful on the brain, but we had fun doing it. And now we get to have the fun. I'm going to pull it up on my phone here. We're going to go to the scum group and see what the next game we'll be playing on the channel is. So we're going to the scum night group, if you guys haven't yet. And it would appear that Dead Space, I'll pull up there, is in the lead. 15 votes. So that is that. We're going to be doing Dead Space next on the channel. So that's really exciting. I saw that was $5 today on Steam, so I'm going to buy that right now. Um, microphone's going everywhere. Yeah, so, wow. Yeah, um, I'm excited for you, Tiffany. Uh, and uh, so your tattoo will get a chance to shine on the channel, hopefully. Maybe you'd send me a picture of it or something. Um, yeah, wow, that game was just incredible. I, I knew it was going to be awesome. Like, I was so excited to play it because I was just like, yeah, Chilla's art doesn't disappoint. Kind of like whatever the next Puppet Combo game is, like, we'll stop whatever we're doing and play it as soon as it comes out. Um, is Dead Space first person, Tiff? Um, but anyways, I mean, I'm, I'm really excited about that. Uh, hopefully, my, my dream of playing Silent Hill 3 will one day happen on the channel, but I'm really happy just to play whatever. And I'm excited to play Dead Space because I've always heard it's an amazing game, but I've never, I have not seen shit about this game. Like, I don't know anything about it. So, considering everything, I think it's gonna be really cool to experience it raw. You know, because like Alien Isolation was fun, but I'd already played Isolation before. So to be able to actually do something brand new and just experience uh, it live and humiliate myself on stream like I usually do, I'm looking forward to it. So it's going to be good. Um, oh, it's third person. That's good. I think Nikki was asking because the um, first person games make her a little seasick, which I understand. So. All right. Well, I am excited. Next week, Wednesday at 9, I will be playing Dead Space. Thank you guys so much for checking out this awesome horror experience with me. It was great to trauma bond with all of you. I love you so much. And I'll see you that time, time next week, Wednesday, 9. And yeah, thank you guys for being awesome.